Hello, in this video, we are going to solve question number 9.14, Ray Optics, Standard 12 Physics, NCRT textbook. So the problem says that there is a giant telescope and uh, the focal length of the objective is given as 15 meters and the focal length of the eyepiece is very, very small. That is only one centimeter. So you can imagine this lens, how big it is. Okay, fine. Now we are supposed to find the angular magnification of the telescope, which means the object is at infinity. It subtends or makes some angle, say alpha, with the objective. And they, of course, the image is formed at focal plane. Now this image is going to behave as the object for this eye lens. And the final image is going to go at infinity because it is not specified that the final image is at D. So we will follow the textbook diagram, which says that the final image is formed at infinity. So in that particular case, the image, this image would be have as the object. And then the rays, this is the focus of the eyepiece. It will go like this one. And then the another ray, will be like this passing through the optical center now since the eye is located very close to the eyepiece i may draw it over here or here the final image is going to be formed at infinity okay so unless specified we will consider this diagram only so in this particular case the magnifying power all oh right i i left the problem in between since this angle is alpha and since the final image is going to make some angle beta with respect to the eye, because these two angles are same, let's, let's call this angle as beta. The final image makes some angle beta with the lens or the eye. So the ratio of beta to alpha is known as angular magnification. Okay. So this angular magnification is equal to FO upon FE for this particular case when final image is at infinity. So we will substitute all the values. So 1500 centimeter divided by one centimeter, centimeter gets canceled. So the final answer is 1500. So that means this angle is magnified 1500 times compared to this angle. You should be careful that we need to convert both of them into same units in order to cancel it. Magnifying power does not have any unit. Please do not confuse this with magnification. All right. Now let's move to the B part of the problem that is ideally a bit difficult for the students. So we are supposed to understand with only objective lens. Now, since if you look at moon, okay, and we know that moon is almost at infinity compared to the focal length of this lens, which is 15 meters. So the lunar orbit or the distance between the moon and the uh, lens itself is very, very large. So the final image of the moon will be formed at focal plane like this. And this point is the focus. This point is the focus of the objective. And the image will be like this. Some students are confused that no, no, sir. The image would be very, very small, extremely tiny dot. You are correct. But look at the size of this lens. It has 15 meters focal length. The lenses which we use in our day to day lives are very, very small focal length. They have very small focal length, <clears throat> 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters. In that condition, you get a small dot. But this is a very, very large um, focal length lens you have. So you will get a bit larger image like this one. And this would be half the diameter of the entire moon. Now, if I consider two points, point one and point two on the image. Now, this one, I should say, Now, this ray, which is forming this image, should be coming like this. And this ray would be coming from this part, right? Now, this diagram would be a bit wrong because I'll have to pull these two very, very far apart. And then the diagram of that moon would be comparatively larger. So the paper ends. So I'll be drawing the moon over here, the actual moon. Actually, it's not correct. The moon will be very, very far away. And as you can see that as this goes away, the moon size will increase, right? So just to fit in the paper, I'm drawing over here. This is the actual diameter D of the moon, whereas this is the diameter of the image from here to here. 
all right you should understand that since the image is real and inverted this part is formed due to the ray coming from here right okay so that means the this angle and this angle will be equal or this whole angle are vertically opposite angle so this distance if i if i say that this part i should use another marker pen this part is dm by 2 and this distance is the distance from moon to the moon to the uh, lens which is given to us as 3.8 into 10 raised to 8 meters so this is 3.8 into 10 raised to 8 meters and then this diameter divide by 2 and the diameter of the moon is also given to us as 3.48 into 10 raised to 6 meters this is the entire diameter now since this distance we already know because this distance is the focal length and the focal length is 1500 centimeter or simply 15 meters because this is also in meters so we'll keep it like that if you look carefully if this angle and this angle are equal then half of their angles are also equal then this triangle and this triangle I can equate since these two angles are equal 10 theta of this triangle and 10 theta of this triangle will be same so 10 of this angle if this is theta this is also theta because this is 2 theta 2 theta so 10 theta from here will be equal to dm by 2 half of the diameter divided by this distance 3.8 into 10 raised to 8 meters now that is equal to this distance that is di by 2 the diameter of the image by 2 divided by this distance that is 15 this 2 2 goes away right and the diameter of the moon i'm going to substitute the value 3.48 into 10 raised to 6 meters divided by 3.8 into 10 raised to 8 meters that is equal to di by 15 so meter meter getting cancelled so di would be equal to 3.48 into 10 raised to 6 into 15 divided by 3.8 into 10 raised to 8 now if you solve this you will get your answer approximately this to be 13.7 centimeters i leave it on you you can do this very easily right but here is the only confusion students they think that image would be very very small that is correct but provided the focal length of the lens is very very small this is a very large focal length lens so this is what is going to happen and you should understand this image is formed due to the rays coming from the bottom part of the moon okay